and welcome to this demonstration of ANSYS AIM. In this video I'll show you how to perform a modal analysis. I've isolated one of the arms of the drone shown on the left along with the motor assembly that it supports to use in this simulation. The goal of the analysis is to find the first six natural frequencies and mode shapes for this model. I will also show you how to add a new material to the material library. I'll assume that the pipe portion of the arm assembly is made of 30% glass filled ABS plastic and add its properties to the material library. Modal analysis or free vibration analysis determines the vibration characteristics of a structure. In other words, it determines the frequencies at which the structure vibrates when it's not subjected to an external continuous force and the shape of the structure while it's vibrating. Natural frequencies and their mode shapes can be determined mathematically without applying external excitation. So in our analysis we only need to specify supports. In AIM the structural template is used to perform model analysis. After selecting the template I make sure that the source of the geometry is set correctly and click on the model radio button below calculation type and create the simulation process. In this simulation I'm going to use the default mesh so I'll let AIM generate the mesh automatically. However I have the option to come back refine the mesh and see if that has any effect on my results. Next I'll assign some material properties. When the model was imported AIM assigned structural steel properties for to everything. But I want to use ABS properties for the pipe and aluminum alloy for everything else. The ABS material is not in the material library so I'll have to add it. I can simply do that by starting to type the name of the material and since it's not in the library I get the option to create it. The properties that I'll need for this material are density and isotropic elasticity properties, Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. For density I'll enter 1200 kilograms per cubic meter, Young's modulus 7.35 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio 0.33. Now that I have the material properties that I need, I'll go ahead and assign them to my model. First, structural steel was assigned to everything. So I can change both the material and the bodies that it's assigned to from right here. First, I'll select all the bodies, unselect the pipe, and change the material to aluminum alloy. Next I'll make an assignment for for the ABS material. Next I'll add boundary conditions to support the pipe where it was attached to the main body of the drone. And finally I will request some results and execute my model. The solution is complete and the results are ready. When reviewing results for a modal analysis it's very important to remember that in a modal analysis displacements are relative and are calculated based on an arbitrary scale factor. The displacement magnitudes are only meaningful in a relative sense within the model. And since stress and strain are derived from displacement, their magnitudes are also relative. Notice that this displacement plot is for the first mode, but I can use the slider to generate plots for the rest of the modes as well. and the frequency for each mode is shown in the summary section under global. 
I can animate the plot to get a better understanding of the motion of the structure. Finally, to see a tabular listing of all six frequencies, I can go to the physics task and expand the eigenvalues table under output. And here I'll find all of the six frequencies listed. This concludes this video tutorial. I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.